Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Irene and I'm a registered dietitian and this week we are trying factor meals for a week. So I just got back from Nashville visiting a friend and we kind of planned this so that uh, we could just like take the whole three days, not worry about anything, and we could come home to some meals like already pre-made and not have to worry about meal prepping or grocery shopping. This is our first time trying Factor. We have tried Green Chef in the past and I feel like the Green Chef meals are pretty good and I believe that if I'm not mistaken that Factor is owned by HelloFresh, which also owns Green Chef. So I'm like hoping that it's gonna be some good meals this week. So between the two of us, we did get like the maximum number of meals that you could get for lunch and dinner. So we got 18 meals between the two of us. So that's nine meals each. I am going to be trying a lot of the vegetarian slash pescatarian ones. And my boyfriend got a bunch of the meat ones cause we don't usually eat meat in our household just because it's like an extra thing that he has to prepare for him himself and he just chooses not to a lot of times. So he was able to get a lot of um, meat options for him this week. The thing that I do like about it so far is that you can basically choose like whatever meals you want. So it's not like you're having the same meal like five times a week. It's more like, oh, we can choose like one of this entree, one of this one and like kind of mix and match depending on your own preferences. I do really like that. The thing that I do want to say though is that we ended up not getting their breakfast options just because we had some stuff in the fridge for breakfast already. And I believe that when we were looking, the breakfast options were pretty expensive. So it just didn't seem right for us to get that. So we just got like the lunches slash dinners, like the entrees. So we're gonna be eating that this week and I'm gonna be rating everything based on taste, nutrition, and is it worth it? I have pretty high hopes because Factor claims that they are chef prepared and dietitian approved. So I'm really looking forward to seeing the nutrition facts on these and tasting them as well and giving an honest review about what I think of these meals. Sorry for the poor video quality here. I was at work so I had to film on my phone and there were people around me so I also didn't want to talk but for the first meal I had the Romano and black pepper shrimp pasta with broccoli and cauliflower it looked really good but I was a little bit disappointed when it came to the taste the veggies were all right but the pasta sauce was quite cream cheesy which I personally wasn't a fan of and this meal overall was just all right for me okay so for the second meal here I have this spicy sweet potato and peanut sauce um, and this is what it looks like so I have I guess some sweet potato and I guess coconut rice and then on the other side some miso roasted green beans let me give this a try oops okay so there's quite a bit of like minced ginger in here and i'm not a fan of ginger so it just tastes like kind of spicy and like gingery and it's a little bit overpowering but i do like the peanut though peanut sauce is pretty good aside from that ginger so the green beans are good but i'm not sure that i like taste the miso in it they just taste like asian style green beans kind of like how my mom used to make them they are a little bit like more oily than i would make them at home but the green beans do taste pretty good i actually like that just not sure if i fully enjoy the sweet potato gingery peanut sauce as much meal number three was a repeat of yesterday's romano and black pepper shrimp pasta with the broccoli and cauliflower now i'm on meal number four and we have this coconut lime curry tofu with lentil rice spicy sweet potatoes and broccoli and this is what it looks like I want to be careful not to spill the curry so as you can see there's like lots of sweet potatoes broccoli the lentils and then the curry is separated from the tofu So taste wise i like the tofu that actually tastes pretty good they really like got all the water out of the tofu and it's not crispy but it does like taste good the curry is all right it's a little bit like more sour it's not spicy at all really the vegetables and the sweet potato and the lentils they kind of taste like not bland but like i have 
I feel like I've tasted this taste like many meals in a row now. I feel like the vegetables, they just all kind of taste the same. And I feel like a lot of the meals I got because my diet is a little bit more limited, they're all starting to like blend together and be very similar with very similar components, which understandably so, like this is like, I guess a meal prep service and there's only so many ways that you can make vegetarian or pescatarian food as meal prep so like I do get that but yeah it's starting to get a little bit repetitive. I'm back at work with meal number five. Today I've got some tomato and roasted vegetable risotto with zucchini, bell peppers, and toasted pine nuts. I feel like this meal was honestly one of the better ones. I actually really enjoyed the risotto part of it, but the veggies on the side were kind of about the same as the ones from previous meals. So for meal number six here, we have some pesto salmon, um, and it's also got some creamed spinach and tomato butter haricot spurts which I don't know what that is, but I assume that it's this reddish stuff there. I'm not quite sure what that is, but the salmon looks a little sad. It's just like this tiny sliver, but let me give it a try. Mm, the salmon's actually really good. It's cooked very well, I feel like. Just enough of like the fat in it and like the juice. The cream spinach, I don't think it's for me. I don't think I'm going to finish it all. It's very like cream cheese heavy, which I mean, I like cream cheese, but there's a time and a place for it. And I don't like so much of it, but that's just like my personal taste preferences. The green beans, they taste fine. Um, I'm not quite sure what this like tomato butter paracot spurts is. It just tastes tomato-y to me. But this meal overall, I feel like doesn't fit my taste preferences. For meal number seven, I have some roasted vegetable fusilli with tomato cauliflower. And this meal was actually really good and I really enjoyed the pasta and the sauce in this one. I just wasn't particularly fond of the tomato cauliflower. Okay, we are on meal number eight now and today we are having garlic herb salmon with celery root mash, cauliflower, and tomatoes. And this is what it looks like. Um, so just like some salmon with, I guess it's like mashed potatoes or celery root mash. Um, it kind of smells like I want to say like mushroomy? I'm not quite sure. And then we also have the cauliflower and tomatoes. There's like three tomatoes in there, which is funny, but let's give this a try. The salmon is all right. Ooh, this celery root mash is actually pretty good. It's definitely giving me like mashed potato vibes, which is like interesting. I don't know that I would ever make this by myself, but it does taste pretty good. And then we have our cauliflower here again. I feel like I've had this like three times this week. I feel like all the vegetables always taste the same. So I'm like kind of getting tired of it. Yeah, it's all right. Okay, so for the last meal that we have from Factor, I have their vegetarian tamale bowl with spiced sweet potatoes and pickled jalapeno crema. And this is what the bowl looks like. So it's like, I guess a deconstructed tamale bowl um, and then sweet potatoes on the side. This smells pretty good, so. I actually really like like the tamale bowl part of this. It's probably one of my, in my opinion, it's probably one of like the better meals that I had this week. So I'm going to finish eating this and then just give my overall thoughts on the cost, how things tasted this week and the nutrition. All right, so moving on to my final thoughts about eating factor meals this whole week. So I do feel like it is an extremely convenient option, especially because you don't have to do any grocery shopping and you don't have to do any meal prepping on your own. It just shows up on your doorstep. And this was especially convenient coming home from a weekend trip where we did not have any time to go grocery shopping or meal prep. I also feel like there is a decent variety of meals to choose from. I feel like there were about 30 or 40 different meals, though if you do have any dietary restrictions like I do, your choices are maybe a little bit more limited. So in terms of cost, our box came out to a total of about $110 for 18 meals. So this comes out 
out to about six dollars and some change but do keep in mind that we got our first box heavily discounted i think we got like 50 percent off so if you were to buy full price it would be like maybe 12 dollars a meal so in terms of taste i was a little bit disappointed factor claims that they are chef prepared and while i can see some of the creativity that like a chef might have in creating these meals i didn't feel like the taste was all there so I feel like a lot of the things, especially the vegetables, they all just like kind of tasted the same. So after eating a couple of these meals, it started to get a little bit boring and I got tired of them towards the end of the week. And I also feel like a lot of the components of the meals were like leaning too heavy towards like one particular flavor or something like that, that didn't necessarily complement the food. And overall, I feel like it really just tasted like a frozen meal to me. I do think that that is my personal opinion. Overall, I feel like the meals just didn't really fit my palate. Like they were either or like too spicy or too oily or too much of something that I wasn't used to. So like that maybe is like a personal problem. My boyfriend who got some different meals did feel like his tasted pretty good. He did say like it did kind of taste like frozen meals, but the one thing that he enjoyed was that the meat in the meals tasted better than they do in frozen meals. So that is like one plus if like you're a meat eater, I do feel like the salmon that I had in those meals tasted pretty good. So moving on to the other claim that Factor makes is it dietitian approved so i saved all of these like package inserts i don't know what you call them but that they have the nutrition facts on them so that i could go through and see if i would approve them and the short answer is no <laughs> so when i was going through these meals like something that jumped out at me was that like at least half of them had more than 50 percent of your daily value of saturated fat. So high saturated fat intake is linked to high cholesterol and heart disease. And with some of these meals, you could be meeting 100% of your allotted saturated fat intake for the day with just like one meal. And I don't think that's okay. <laughs> I feel like with a lot of these meals also, you were lacking fiber. So unless you were like eating the vegetarian meals, which were like heavier in fiber, you wouldn't be meeting your daily recommended intake for fiber. But if you did get the vegetarian meals, I feel like a lot of them were lacking in protein. Like there were some that only have like 12 grams of protein, 19. So like that's, some of them aren't bad, but like this, the tomato and roasted vegetable risotto, this one only has 10 grams of protein and also only has three grams of fiber. So this one, I don't know, but it just wasn't as balanced of a meal as I would have hoped. It is considering that it is dietitian approved. The one thing that I do feel like they took note of was sodium. So the high sodium content that I saw was a thousand milligrams, which is pretty reasonable for a meal considering like the goal limit that you want to take in in a day is 2300 milligrams of sodium. So I feel like that was all right, but I don't know which dietitian approved these meals, but maybe they should go back to school. I feel like if you're gonna approve them as a dietitian, like these meals should at least come close to meeting the dietary guidelines for Americans. And I understand with like processed meals like these and like when you're considering like taste as a factor, like it can be hard to control the fat and the sodium and get enough fiber in. But I feel like if you're gonna like put your stamp of approval on as a dietitian, it should at least come close to it. I don't know. All in all, is it worth it? Um, at about $6 a meal, maybe, but you could also probably just buy some frozen meals for the same price or cheaper with similar nutrient profiles or maybe even better. I feel like some of those lean cuisine meals are are pretty good in terms of nutrition facts. But if you wanted me to buy these meals at full price, it would be a hell no for me. Um, anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.